Hello my friends, so I finished the construction of the Panzer IV by Mini Art. So this is the H version with the um, top armour there for the anti-aircraft armour. It's a really nice kit. So it's this kit here, it's one of the newer Panzer IVs they've released. Of course they're releasing heaps more at the moment. Um, that just hasn't been released, but I think this is one of their later ones. It's really nice. Um, so I did one side open of the top shirts in here. Now we can still open these doors, both sides, and I can open the turret here. Um, but yeah, you've got really nice detail. See how you've got these little clips here, keeping the doors open? But it's a little bit harder to build the doors open because you've got to put these bits of photo etch on. But with on the one that's just closed, that's moulded on. But you see that bar there? Here you've got to have it open. And that's just with the shirts on. I've still got to do a little bit of colour modulation on those. But yeah, she comes up really nice, very, really detailed and like in scale. And that's the metal barrel with the metal nozzle brake, so that looks really good. But very streamlined with its uh, shirts in. I reckon we'll have those doors open. We can have a lot of crew in there. You know, different soldiers riding on. So now we'll have to put on some decals and some insignia. That's pretty nice. This top armour was went on really easy, really easy to build. It's just a plate of metal and you stick two little connectors on the side and you just got some little things that you fold under and they connect onto the shirts and so I've used um couple of colours to get this effect here so I started with German Brown so that's the base colour which is RAL 8020 and then I used this US Desert Sand and that's Federal Standard 3020 Seven nine. So I use that to really lighten it up and bring out more of brown. And then I did a lot of the highlights in white, so you can sort of see, you know, around here, here. I did white a lot of the raised panels, especially at the back here, as well. So a lot of the raised panels got white and then I cleaned it up and brought a lot of it back to the yellowy colour with the sand gel. It's only really used sort of three shades there and the white. But it's sort of a, an effective look. And of course with filters and all that kind of stuff you'll get a much better, um, you know, it'll darken it up a little bit. But it comes up very nice, doesn't it? Very happy mini art. I reckon your Panzer IVs are, are one of the best models you've done to date. You've done very well. I'll show you my other one. By mini art. This one over here. So this is the J version, the Command J version, and then we've got the H, the 
I've got another J here. This is from Border. But I'm going to repaint this one. This one I want to repaint. That's got its J shirts. And so these two can, I want these two, these two can go together. I've got a fair few pounds of threes. And then I've got more down here to build. I've got the Bulgarian one and I've got another one, another H there. So yeah, I've got a good little Panzer IV collection coming along. But this one will be repainted, I reckon. Paint it similar to that. Alright my friends, I'll speak to you again soon.